Sean here at London's beautiful Coliseum Theatre. We're here for a very special reason to meet these two beautiful people who are going to tell us all about the wonderful ballet Swan Lake. Remember though, if you miss it, you miss out. <laughs> That's right, if you miss it, you miss out. Konstantin Tachkin, I am uh, founding director of the St. Petersburg Ballet Theatre. I am prima ballerina, Irina Kolesnikova. First and foremost, welcome to London. Thank you. And uh, you've got a spectacular production here. Uh, and we know it's going to be a huge success for you. But what's it like performing in London? What, what's the, is there a difference with audiences? Uh, first of all, London is our favourite city, without any question, because for example, Irina's uh, career started in London uh, in, from the sold-out Royal Albert Hall in 2003 or 2004. So uh, then we come to London every year. So it's our, like, our home. I can't tell you the audience is very specific. Who loves ballet, who understands ballet, it's our public. <laughs> Tell me about this particular production. Why is it so special? We're looking at a wonderful set. Yes. Uh, it looks absolutely amazing already. Thank so you. Why, you know, why should we come along and see? What is it about? Just tell me a flavour of the production. Uh, f first of all, uh, you noted very well about scenery. Because it's, for me, it's very important. I, s I see the production like a spectator. So when I sit in the, in the hall, the curtain up, if I'm amazed by scenery, I'm happy enough at the moment, then we should provide the dancing. So the ingredients of our success, scenery, pro professional, very enthusiastic dancers. If we are talking about this particular production, Swan Lake, of course, this is Tchaikovsky yes. and choreographer uh, of Marius Petipa and Lev Ivanov. It was created in 1895. So keep it like it was done. And this is also part of our big success. A question now for Irina. Um, you are the prima ballerina. That always sounds such a great title. But does that make you nervous because, you know, you are the star, as it were, when they say, here she is? Do you get nervous of that? Uh, yes. Um, I, uh, to dance here, it's very important for me. And, uh, of course, uh, I a little bit... Nervous. Nervous. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> what, why is ballet so popular even in today? You know, in 2018, it's been going for so long, but yet the audiences just re reinvent, you know, you get, you get yeah. a lot of young people coming uh, to ballet. This is also, thank you very much for this question, because for us, very important, we also noted more and more young people starting to come to see the classical ballet. This is really very, very important for us. And why? I think when you see how the dancers uh, do their job, how they entertain the uh, spectators, of course you will love it. In 2015 we did 13 performances here, now 16. So this is uh, very, very good. How many is in the company? Because it is a big company, yeah. isn't it? 
Yeah. So you give value for money. That's what I like. <laughs> In England, we like value for money, right? Of course. So, <laughs> how many travel over here with you, or, or uh, is it? Do you pick up people uh, 60, from? 60 people plus 62 uh, 60, uh, musicians. And it's very, very good for us this time because uh, our performances will be accompanied by symphonic orchestra by English National Opera. So it's for for public. It's 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 just a gift. I'm glad you mentioned the orchestra because the orchestra is such an integral part, isn't it? You know, when Absolutely. you go to a ballet, it's nice to actually come into a theatre and hear real instruments. You yeah. know, and see an orchestra. Absolutely, in that pit. leave the conductor. Yeah. And also for a classical ballet, I'm absolutely sure it's important to hear the leaf and the live orchestra, or live. live orchestra, live, live singer, live orchestra. Of course, for example, for even Irina, uh, she totally depends from the music. And f when it tape, it's sort of safe because she knows the tempo very well because it's ch not changed. Yeah. But uh, every time um, she complain about when it's recording music because the live orchestra is live orchestra even if some tempos even if for example conductor is hurry to see the football match after performance <laughs> it can destroy performance of course but it's very very rare yeah. normally it's live music especially 60 musicians from english national <laughs> opera it's it's amazing yeah. just amazing yeah. a question for irena i want to know um, did you always want to be a ballerina, you know, from being very little? Or was it something that, you, that came to you when maybe you were a little older? You know, when was the, when was the point where you thought, this is what I want to do? I think it was uh, maybe 11 or 12. Wow. Yes. Oh. And did you go to lessons being very young, like from four onwards, or did you pick it up at 11? Mm, yeah, from eight. From ten. Uh, after Irina um, was studying one year in Waganova Academy, she finally convinced she wanted to be a ballerina. Right. I mean, it's because you're very young, and to, to achieve, you know, when you start out so young, to become the prima ballerina. <laughs> It's like everything, isn't it? You know, who were your who were your dancing heroes when you were younger? Was there any particular ballerinas from the past that you you know admired? Например, есть у тебя какие-то или ты сама развивалась? Нет, когда была маленькая, мне просто английский старайся или я буду переводить. Да, переводить. Can I translate? Yeah, sure. Okay. А когда я была совсем маленькая, я хотела быть доктором. When she was young, she wanted to be a doctor. И потом мне просто потрясла эта сказка на сцене, и мне хотелось быть частью этой сказки. Then she saw the Sleeping Beauty on the stage, the ballet, classical ballet production, and she immediately want to be the part of this tale, fairy fairy tale. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. When you watch it up there, it's. It is. It's like a princess fairy tale. Isn't Absolutely, it, you know? yeah. And because of the lighting and the set and your talent, then you go up and you think, "Wow!" Is that the whole point of the show? Do you want people to come in here and forget their troubles, escape everything? And yes, drift it's exactly. Off? It what Irina uh, constantly mentioned. It. Uh, her mission: it's make people absolutely happy during performance and forget about any troubles, any problems, any unsolved issues, just enjoy. So her mission is give to public this emotion, at least for three hours. <laughs> That's a long time. Three Absolutely. Hours. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Finally, I've got to ask, um, how, how long do you train every day? You know, do you, what time do you start to practice and warm up? Uh, you know, because do, do you have any time off? You know, what do you do when you're off? Or are you training all day kind of thing? Сколько часов в день тренируешься? Это в зависимости от репертуара. Каждый раз получается... It depends. Каждый раз получается по-разному. Every time is different. But average, ну, примерно. Может быть, от трех до шести часов. From three to six hours per day. 
It's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 